Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk. Uh, this series is focused on bringing you the reality of how things work in the United States. So in this episode, I want to talk about what is the difference between hiring freeze versus slow hiring? How does really hiring freeze work and why does hiring freeze happen and all of that? Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with hiring freeze. What is hiring freeze? Hiring freeze is really basically saying that we are not gonna hire anybody for a certain period of time. That is hiring freeze. Yeah, we are freezing hiring for a certain period of time. That's hiring freeze. Why does it really happen? If the company is not doing really well or the company doesn't have budget, revenue is not made up to the mark or they don't have enough money, to hire some new staff member. If you think about it, I'm gonna give you a very simple example. Let's say you open a Vada Pao stall, or let, let, let me give you the English example. If let's say if you open a food truck, uh, and let's say your food truck expense, everything covering the gas and running the food truck, your labor and everything, the expense is $500. Total revenue which you're making is $700. So you deduct the expenses, your profit is only $200. In that case, you are like, okay, I'm making $700, but that only $200 dollars is like it's enough for only just for my expenses i cannot afford to hire somebody else because there's not enough demand so so at that time you don't really hire anybody and that is hiring freeze until you figure out your financial plan for your company uh, unless you take a chance and you want to invest or unless you feel like okay we have enough money we can invest in another person and you know run the business that's similarly how it works for companies over here too if the company has money if the company has met the revenue goals budget goals then they will hire if the companies face major loss and they're not hitting the targets then they will put a hiring freeze because they can afford cannot afford another staff member in the company and on the very similar path i want to talk about why what is slow hiring or the hiring process is slow in november december and and like you know people there's like multiple things people think that there's a hiring freeze in november december it's not really hiring freeze it's really just hiring is slow and i'm gonna explain why so november and december is like a holiday month uh, in end of november there's a thanksgiving which is a big festival in united states and people take a lot of time off and in december it's a christmas and pretty much in the last entire week people take a time off and maybe even week before and a lot of time people take save their holiday holidays and leaves and PTOs for using it in these two months so a lot of time the staff are gone now and and that's why the hiring process is slow it's not that we stopped hiring or the hiring is no more happening it's there's no freeze it's just slow because let's say you still applied and your resume is with a hiring manager who is on a vacation for two weeks or maybe for three weeks so that person is not even able to respond to you because they are on vacation and that's why it's slow because people are on leave Simil and similarly even if the hiring manager is there and there's no committee interview committee there are four people who are always interviewing people and they are not available to interview you then they are not going to proceed with the interview because they don't have enough people to actually process the hiring part of it if the company has immediate and urgent requirement like they have a hard deadline that we have to deliver by december 31st uh, and we cannot delay it no matter what at that point of time they will figure out a way to hire you they will maybe skip some rounds of interview if they will skip some people who are usually there for the interview and they will still go ahead and interview so it's really demand and supply type of thing but most likely november december is like holiday days that's why the hiring is slow and the third part of this video which i want to focus on is like people say that oh there's a hiring freeze in november december and then there's like a hiring boom in january February, March, and, and so I just wanna give you the perspective of how things work. If you watched the video till now, you understood the concept of hiring freeze versus hiring is slow. Now, moving on to the why hiring is booming in January, February, March, or you know, so on. It's basic, basically how the company works is every year they have, 
at the end of the year they calculate how much money they made and then in january they set the budgets for entire year they say they set the target for the company they set the revenue goals they set the budget key okay last year uh, we targeted that we're going to make 1 million dollar in revenue we made 1.5 million dollars so our business is doing really well we had ex we have made a profit of 500,000 dollars or we made extra revenue of $500,000. At that time, company decides and budgets that, okay, out of 500,000, 250,000, I wanna allocate for hiring. You can hire more people and we want to invest in the team. So that's when in January, February is when the budget and the funds are allocated to the team to hire people. And here's why the hiring happens so quickly in, in the first three months or first four months is because how the company look at finances is every quarter what i mean by that is that january february march in the march 31st uh, they will take a look at like how did the company did in the first three months and then obviously in april 1st they will change some of their financial targets if the company let's say again uh, targeted 1 million dollars for entire year to produce uh, in the first three months the company made the revenue of 350,000. that is kind of like okay it's an on on track when that's what we expected in the second month uh, maybe in the second quarter which is april till june april may june yeah in second quarter if the company went the total revenue become 800,000. they did extraordinary business and now rest six months is only 200,000 dollars required right so company overall is doing well uh, in in that case so, so they will not make any changes to the budget they allocated in january but on the contrary opposite side if the first quarter they did only hundred thousand dollars of the business and where the revenue estimation is you know one million dollars so they know that okay first quarter first three months we only did hundred thousand dollars it's going to be hard to match the target so what at that time board of directors and the companies decide is like okay we allocated two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for hiring let's hold that let's not hire anymore because we might not be end up we might not end up making one million dollars in the target so to avoid that situation people as soon as the funds are allocated they start hiring as early as possible that's why a majority of the big companies in amazon google microsoft the hiring process for next year next summer internship ki baat kar raun, they start in the second quarter you will see that the openings start in june july and then they finish the hiring even before the year ends because they don't know how the year is gonna go so that's how why the hiring is faster because the funds are allocated and they want to make sure that the funds are there to use Carlo. otherwise if they don't use it and the business didn't do well then they might not get that fund to hire unless there's a hard requirement that business is not going to be able to process without this hiring then you know it's a different story but to overall the general picture of how finances and hiring work together is what i wanted to give you a clear picture hope you are enjoying this series and i hope you enjoy this episode i hope you find valuable so i'm trying to give you what real ground stories and how things happen to give you the insight so you can plan your things accordingly I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep smiling and keep hustling. Kara hustle every single day.